Our planet is home to thousands of animals that exhibit morphological similarities and differences. Similarly, they also exhibit certain anatomical similarities and differences. Anatomy refers to the study of the internal structures or organs of an organism. Let's take a look at the anatomical features of an earthworm, such as the body wall, the alimentary canal, and the circulatory, excretory, nervous, and reproductive systems. The cross section of an earthworm shows that the body wall is covered by a thin layer of cuticle followed by a single layer of epidermis which contains secretory gland cells. Below the epidermis lie two layers of muscles, circular and longitudinal muscles, followed by the innermost coelomic epithelium. Now let's take a look at the longitudinal section of the worm to study its remaining anatomical features. You'll notice a straight tube that runs from the first to the last segment of the body. This tube is the alimentary canal. Towards the anterior end, the first segment bears the mouth, which opens into the buccal cavity up to the third segment. The buccal cavity is followed by a muscular pharynx, which continues into a narrow esophagus between the fifth and seventh segments. The gizzard, located in the eighth and ninth segments, helps grind soil particles and organic matter. This organic matter is mixed with soil and is digested in the stomach that lies between the ninth and fourteenth segments. The stomach also has calciferous glands which neutralize the humic acid present in the partially decomposed organic matter. The stomach continues into a long intestine which starts from the fifteenth segment and continues till the last segment. A pair of short conical projections of intestinal cica is present on the 26th segment. The intestine shows internal folds called tiflosol between the 26th and the 35th segments, which also increases the surface area for better absorption of digested nutrients. Finally, in the last segment, the alimentary canal opens to the exterior through a small aperture called the anus. As the ingested matter passes through the alimentary canal, it is broken down into simpler absorbable molecules by digestive enzymes. These molecules are then absorbed through intestinal membranes and are utilized by the earthworm. The anatomical study also includes the closed circulatory system. This system consists of blood vessels, capillaries, and hearts. Small blood vessels supply blood to the gut, nerve cord, and body wall. Earthworms also have blood glands between the fourth and sixth segments that produce blood cells and hemoglobin which are dissolved in the blood plasma. These blood cells are phagocytic in nature. Moreover, the hearts, which are important organs in the circulatory system, help circulate blood in one direction. The nephridial or excretory system is also part of the anatomy of an earthworm. Earthworms have several nephridia that function as excretory organs. There are three types of nephridia, namely septal, integumentary, and pharyngeal. The septal nephridia are present on either side of the intersegmental septa between the 15th segment and the last segment and open into the intestine. The integumentary nephridia are attached to the lining of the body wall from the third segment to the last segment and open onto the body surface. 
The pharyngeal nephridia occur as paired tufts on either side of the pharynx and esophagus from the fourth to the sixth segments. All three types of nephridia have similar structures and regulate the volume and composition of body fluids. Each nephridium has a funnel that collects excess coelomic fluid. This funnel links to a tubular part of the nephridium from where waste is discharged through nephridiopores. The anatomical study also includes the nervous system, which consists of ganglia that are connected to a double ventral nerve cord. At the anterior end, in the third and fourth segments, the nerve cord bifurcates, encircles the pharynx, and joins the cerebral ganglia to form a nerve ring. The cerebral ganglia, along with the other nerves in the ring, integrate sensory input as well as control the muscular responses of the body. Did you know that earthworms don't possess eyes? However, they have light and touch sensitive receptors to help them recognize light intensities and ground vibrations. Besides, they also have specialized chemoreceptors or taste receptors, which help them respond to any chemical stimuli and are situated at the anterior end. Finally, let's take a look at the reproductive system. The earthworm is a hermaphrodite, which means that both male and female reproductive systems are present in the same individual. The male reproductive system consists of two pairs of testes in the 10th and 11th segments, with their vasa deferentia running up to the 18th segment. Here, the vasa deferentia and the duct of the prostate gland join to form a common prostate and spermatic duct, which opens to the exterior through a pair of male genital pores. In the 17th and 19th segments, a pair of accessory glands is found in each segment. Also, each segment from the 6th to the 9th bears a pair of spermatica, which receives and stores spermatozoa during copulation. The female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries present on the intersegmental septum of the 12th and 13th segments. Below the ovaries are the ovarian funnels, which continue into the oviduct and join to form a single female genital pore on the 14th segment. Although earthworms are hermaphrodites, each worm mates with another worm. While mating, two worms lie in a juxtaposed position, resulting in a mutual exchange of sperm between the two worms. Later, cocoons containing mature sperm eggs and a nutritive fluid are secreted by the gland cells of the clitellum. The eggs are fertilized by the sperm in the cocoons and are deposited in the soil. Inside the cocoons, embryos develop and after three weeks, each cocoon produces about 2 to 20 baby worms. These baby worms show direct development, which means the larval stage is absent. We have just studied the anatomical features of the earthworm, such as the body wall structure, alimentary canal and circulatory nervous and reproductive systems.